plane up here way? What way would that be? I seen you was from Dallas. What business is it of yours? Where I'm from? Friendo? The challenge was to create this person who would feel nothing. He will follow his own ethics, no matter what, and he will do it against his own will. I guess that's the crazy part. Like if something beyond his control or over him is telling him how to act, and still we don't know what it is. As an actor, that's the world that I kind of created for myself to, I guess, justify Anton Sugar's actions. Because in the book, he's not described as well. He comes, he destroys, he disappears. So you have to really understand a little bit of what's going on in your mind in order to execute those horrible actions. Like, for example, in the gas station scene, I was always thinking that there was a superior voice and order that was making a decision through me. Call it. So this is not something personal against that person or that person. It's like there are things that must be done in terms of create a better world what he thinks is a better world. And in this case, it's a world where people don't marry into businesses. They own or they earn their own businesses. So when he says that he it was his father's shop, he says, so you marry into it. That is a change. It's like, wow, that's not good. And uh, so it's unexpected. But that's also part of the Kermit McCarthy words and the Coen brothers' brilliant script. I need to know what I stand to win. Everything. How's that? You just tend to win everything, call it. Yeah, like how does that cast to work with? I don't know, because I didn't have any interaction with any of them. I was just killing people <laughs> constantly. I had a scene with Woody Harrelson, which it was a fun moment, because Woody is such adorable, fun, caring, loving guy, an amazing actor. And we had a blast doing that scene. But Josh Brolin, which I adore, admire, respect, and really worship him, as a man, as an actor, and as a human being. It really helped me so much on a personal level in that movie because I was going through a hard time and, uh, and he really rescued me out of it, like with his humor and with his care and attention and presence. It was the last thing I would like to do in that moment, kill him. <laughs> so I had to make a big effort to try to put my face into killing uh, Llewellyn Mosh because uh, personally I love and I adore the guy. <laughs>